cloud was the devil. The devil, devil, devil. I love it when people discover new meanings or messages hidden in art. Yeah, it's like the pinch code. There's this famous fresco by Giotto and after they were cleaning and stuff they discovered after removing all the dirties and the goodies whatever dusties were there that there was something in the clouds devil face ah! Ooh, devil in the church is that awesome or what but my favorite thing out of all this is the explanation that the chief restorer gave to the people Giotto most likely did it to have fun with it yeah because an apple sometimes it's just an apple and a devil face sometimes it's just a joke Sergio Fossetti says that Giotto did it most likely to have fun with it for kicks and giggles basically to have a bit of fun it's like a song a bit of fun a bit of fun a bit of fun the devil was just to have a bit of fun. That sounds really wrong suddenly. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it anymore. I gotta say I love the explanation because sometimes we see these masters, especially the Renaissance masters as if they were kind of some gods. I mean, it doesn't help that they have this one word names like gods, you know, Michelangelo, Giotto, so we hear about these gods, you know, of art and everything they do is so divine, so pure, so enlightened, so masterful, so oh! So the idea that Yoto painted up devil's face on his fresco just to be a bit mischievous makes me think of the masters as human again. So what do you think? Write in the comments if you think this was just a joke or if you think there was a deeper meaning, pick one, let me know. Because I think it's amazing if this was a joke. Yeah, thumbs up for Giotto for me being so mischievous and playful and silly. Yeah, I'm not hyper. I'm not even hyper because of coffee. I haven't had any sip yet. I'm gonna have a sip now and you will see what hyper means. Eat your cookies. Hmm.